Father God, on this moment, Father God, I pray for the people watching this video, Lord. I pray that you break, break the curse on them, Father God. Break the chains that are trying to hold them back, Father God, from their ministry, from their next step in life, Father God. I pray that this word blesses them, Father. I pray that you overwhelm them, Father God, with your spirit, Lord, because we believe and we trust in you, Father God. We know that you're real, Lord. We know that you watch over us, Father God. We trust you, Father God. We are nothing without you, Lord. I want to thank you, God, for the ministry that you have given us, for our hearts, for our souls. Thank you, Jesus. Let this word speak unto these people, Father God. Let us speak unto you today because God is trying to tell you something. And it's not over yet. It's not over because Jesus has died for our sins. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. For we believe and we trust in you, God. Thank you, Jesus, Father God. I pray that you break every curse, Father God. Anybody right now, Father, that you need to touch, touch them right now, Father God. Touch them as I read your word, Lord. Touch them, Father God. Because you know their hearts more than they know themselves, Father God. You know their struggle. You know them, Lord. You know what they need. You know what they need, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for what you do, Father God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. So hello to my subscribers and those... Um, you know soon to be subscribed and i hope you guys subscribe after this video i hope that this video blesses you today don't forget to subscribe like the video and share so that you may be able to bless others okay so today i just have a great feeling in my heart that somebody needs to hear this word so i'm just gonna go ahead and start to it and i'm going to go to genesis 3 and 6 and it says the woman said that the fruit of the tree was good to eat it was also pleasing to look at and it would make a person wise. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. And I'm gonna read that one more time. It was also pleasing to look at and it would make a person wise. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Things may look good Things may be attractive, but it can actually be the deadliest thing that you can ever touch in your life. See, there's things in the world, there's things that we look at, there's things that we're even struggling with ourselves, but nobody else knows. You know, um, but this can be the deadliest thing that you can ever touch. We have to be careful because it can be a thing from right from the devil. We have to be very careful we cannot touch that fruit. It may seem like it's good for you. It may seem pleasurable. But we can't touch it. You have to avoid even looking at it. You have to stay away from your, from your temptation. See, it may be nice to look at, pleasing to touch, to taste. But it can be the very thing that destroys your life. See, everything that we do in life, it has consequences. And at the end of the day, tomorrow's not promised. Tomorrow's not promised. Every day is a blessing. It's by the grace of God that we're awake, that we're alive, that we're breathing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In our spiritual battle, we are between two sides. See, we're in a side of, of godly, of good angels. And then we have a side of the enemy, which wants to, wants to cause you the temp temptation. He wants to give you pleasure. He wants to give you things of the world that don't even matter, to be honest. They don't even matter. And there's a side of worship. A side of worship where we can focus on God. A side of worship where we have no worries. A side of worship where there's no chains, hallelujah. There's no chains holding us from what we need to do for God. See, we live in a free world. In a world, in a spiritual battle where we're free, where we have the sword of God, hallelujah, where we can destroy other entities and we're able to live free. Because if you have something that's tying you down, that's a chain and you have to break that curse. 
I don't care if it's witchcraft. It can be sexual immorality. It can be desires, even pride. You have to be careful. Just trust God. You have to give it to Him. You have to break these curses. See, because when you don't break a curse, it passes on to your family. It passes on to your kids, to your grandkids, to your great-grandchildren. It's a time to stop, and it's now. See, one thing I noticed when I was looking at my Bible the other day, you know what I noticed? I noticed that the Word of God never changes. The Word of God never changes. Hallelujah. It never changes. And you know, I, I kind of I kind of reminisced. And I said, you know what? It's been months. I've been looking at this Bible. You know. Been looking at the cover. Been looking at the pages. And just the Word of God itself. How powerful it is. When You know, you really discover the power of God when you start reading the Bible. When you start reading the Bible, I'm telling you guys, there may be a spirit trying to stop you from reading the Bible, but you need to pick up that Bible today, and you need to read it. You don't have to start in Genesis. All you have to do is close your eyes. Say, God, I trust you. I believe in you. I know that you're going to guide me, that you're going to lead me to the right scripture, Father God. Let it touch me. Let it change me. Let it break a chain in me, Father God. Speak that into existence. Speak it so that he may hear you. Hallelujah. Speak it. Because he hears you and he's going to make it happen. Because he knew you were going to say it before you even said it. Ain't that wonderful? God is amazing. Hallelujah. All you have to do is trust in him. So I'm going to go ahead and keep reading. And it says, you may feel right. It may feel right for a moment, a month, a year, even five years. But at the end of the day, the reality, it feels like a fairy tale. It feels like, wow, you know, I'm living this life. I'm, li I'm living this fake life. And it feels like a fairy tale. And you have to actually be honest with yourself. You have to think, wow, my creator, my creator is watching me. My creator is watching over my life, my family. He's been so good to us. Why backstab him? Why not give him your time any time of day? You keep living in this fairy tale that doesn't really exist. See, we live in the real world. You have to open your eyes. You have to make sure to open your eyes so that you may understand what's going on. You have to look at the world around you. But without it, you have to always pray. You cannot go out there without praying. You have to pray to God so that he may protect you through every step of the way. So that you may know what to do next. So you won't be confused and, and uh, tempted by the desires. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, it's a, it's a dark place that we don't want people to know. See, you may be in a relationship right now. You may be in a relationship. But you don't want that person to know how you really feel. But it's time to stop. It's time to break that curse. It's time to break that spirit free. It's time to release it free, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. I declare it that it may flee because you are a son. You are a queen. You are the daughter of God. You are the son of God. And you are no longer going to be in chains, hallelujah, because the, the word of God, the power of God is too strong for you to have an excuse. It's too strong, hallelujah, because we believe and we trust in him. We know that his word is correct. We know that his word is truth. We know, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let your spirit dwell in these people right now, Father God, the ones who are watching me, Father God. Let your spirit talk, Father God. Let your spirit touch them right now, Father. Wherever you are, I pray that you give it to God. It's time. It's time. And I'm so serious. It's time. It's time to stop playing with God. He's been too good. It's time to break that curse. Get rid of that dark place. Get out of that dark place. Get out. Give it to Jesus right now. Give it to Jesus. Hold her, Father God. Hold him, Father God. Hold him, Father God. With your mighty hand, Lord. Hold him, Lord. Hold him, Father God. They need to be held, Father God. Hold him, Lord. Wherever you are. 
I pray that you believe, that you trust. Give it to God. He's watching over you right now. It's not a coincidence that you're watching this video right now. Because God knows all. God has all powers. And he has led you to click on this video. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. I do apologize as well that it's so dark in here. Um, but there is a place of suffering that no one understands. Nobody that you know understands. Not even your spouse, your friend, your best friend. You don't understand. Your nephew, your son, your daughter, your sister, your mother, your father. Nobody understands. You know why? Because you have to go to the creator himself. The one who created you. The one who knows your heart. The one who knows your spirit. The one who knows you inside out, hallelujah. The one who knows you inside out. You have to go to him right now. Get on your knees. Pray. That's the best way to fight the battles, hallelujah. The one who created you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I want to tell you today how much God loves you. How much you mean to God. Don't you know that he created us for a purpose? Don't you know that the reason why things bad things happen is not because of God? It's because we did it. See, we sinned first. God created the world to, for abundance, for fruit. We're the one who sins, so stop blaming God. Stop blaming, blaming God for your mistakes. Stop blaming God for other people's mistakes. It's not his fault. It's not his fault. You mean so much to God. You don't even know. If you didn't mean so much, you wouldn't even be here right now. See, he has a purpose for your life and he's not done with you. You wouldn't be alive right now watching my video. God knows you. He knows you more than anybody. Hallelujah. See, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when it comes to the scripture, when it comes to the word of God. It doesn't matter who ate the fruit or why they did it. It doesn't even matter. Y'all need to understand that it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter who ate the fruit. The reason why is because we're all responsible. We're all responsible for our own actions. When it comes to Jesus Christ, there's no hiding place. There's no hiding place from God. Don't you know that when they ate from the fruit, they hid. They hid from God's voice. They hid from the creator himself who made them out of dust. They hid from him. They hid. They were afraid. They were embarrassed. But you don't have to be embarrassed. Because he's the one who created you. He made you. He made you to be you. He made you to be you. I want you to use this prayer. I want you to use this message as a motivation to your life. As a declaration. As a signal. As a prophetic word, hallelujah. Because God is the Almighty. And He is watching you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God knew you before you even knew yourself. He knew you before you were in the womb. Before you even you even were produced in your mother's womb. He knew you. He chose you. He chose you. The reason why He chose you is because He, he knew you could handle it. He knew you could handle it. And with your testimony, you're going to change somebody's life. You're going to change somebody's life. I want you to evaluate your life. I want you to evaluate yourself. And what's important is what God wants for your life. Everything else doesn't even matter. And if people doesn't agree with you, so what? It's okay. It's okay. See, when we go up to heaven, we're going to spend eternity there. With our Father, with our Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I challenge you today to trust God, to give it to him. For he's, he is the one who died for you. He died for your sins, hallelujah. For your sins, he died. Remember, God has feelings too. I want you to remember that. God has feelings too. Did you know that several times during the Bible, there's many stories that Different prophets came to God, and God changed his mind from destroying people. You know why? Because God has a heart, just like you and me. We have a heart, a heart that 
God loves, excuse me, God loves us so much. He has so much, he has such a big heart for us, hallelujah. That's why we're here today. That's why we're able to go home after work. That's why we're able to live, hallelujah. We're able to live in peace because of his love. There's nothing in this world that I would change, hallelujah. Because God created it. God made it perfect in his own way. We were the ones who sinned against him. It's time for repentance. Because God is the almighty. He is the one in whom we can trust. Thank you, Jesus. Our grace, I want you guys to remember this right here. Our grace is not just about being lucky. It comes straight from God. He sends it right from heaven. And I'm going to go ahead and end with this scripture. And it says, 1 John 2.16. For all that is in the world. I'm go ahead and move this camera. A little bit. For all that is in the world. The lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. And the pride of life is not of the Father. But it's of the world. Remember that. I love you guys so much. Y'all be blessed. Good night.